And hello everybody, welcome back to the channel guys, I hope you're all well. Before we do get into today's video and discuss why Rangers have been handed a boost, please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Okay, so look, this season has been a bit uh, bad for Rangers in terms of injuries. It always seems like, uh, well so certainly in the first part of the season, always seemed like there was a key player always getting injured and that sort of, those injuries that mounted up did sort of play a part as to why Rangers were fairly embarrassing in the Champions League and have sort of fell nine points behind. Look, it's not the main excuse, but it does play a, a huge part in terms of injuries and all the rest of it. However, since sort of the turn of the year, we have started to see players coming back and we are getting positive news from Michael Bill that players are returning back from injury, which is always a great thing. But I do want to discuss a forgotten man, you know, a man called Yanis Hadji that about this time last year, I think it was over a year ago now, um, he picked up a really, really bad injury in a Scottish Cup match and was basically ruled out for the remainder of the season by Rangers. There was no real timescale given. However, along the way, we have been given updates by sort of Hadji's father, Georgie. And uh, we sort of said on social media that he has been, you know, making fine progress. However, no one really expected it to be this long or, or a year, certainly when, when we said he was going to be out until the end of the season. I maybe thought I would be ready to go again uh, back in August. But obviously this this journey for Hadji has been really, really long. But there is some positive news regarding his recovery. And it has been confirmed that he has played uh, a friendly uh, I mean, within the Rangers team. Managed to score and assist the other day. Uh, which is a big, big boost for Rangers. And that means that he is very, very close to making a return to the pitch. Yanis Hadji will be like a new signing once he returns. Yanis Hadji as I said, the forgotten man, uh, does create a lot for Rangers, is really, really special and makes a big, big impact within this Rangers team. So as I said, as we are seeing players return back from injury, Rangers obviously signing Todd Cantwell, being linked to Nicholas Raskin, being linked to Morgan Whitaker and bringing these new additions in, the return of Yanis Hadji in February will be like a new signing. So as I say, that is a big, big boost for the Jers, Yanis Hadji, that's the news. He has returned back and he did play in a friendly, scored one goal and assisted one as well. So yeah, really, really positive news on that front. Guys, let me know your thoughts on Yanis Hadji. Do you reckon he is going to make an impact in the second half of the season? As I say, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. That brings us to the end of today's short update video, guys. Please do smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily Rangers content. Thank you. And I'll see you in the next one.